All right, I'm gonna go through a quick rundown of how to make a quick survival bracelet. Uh, items you need uh, are obviously uh, the rope, the paracord. Uh, if it's not already attached, uh, we're gonna take two different colors and attach those together. Uh, this is nice and helps out. Uh, perhaps uh, a compass for the middle, if those are included. Uh, you need a buckle uh, and you need uh, a fire system. So you take this buckle uh, and you take the buckle apart and then you have to make sure they're curved a little bit. And so uh, that curvature, you wanna make sure that, the, that one isn't flipped, they won't buckle at the end. So what I usually do is I unbuckle these and I uh, take this one end here, sorry, and I slide it in over here. And that's curved that way. This is curved the same direction, just like that. So the next thing is to take the two different paracords and connect them together. Uh, if there's a candle, having a candle burning works pretty well, uh, but you get those ends nice and warm. And then as they're warm, you're going to basically put those together uh, and then just kind of hold them for a second there. And now you have one cord uh, with two different colors, which makes it easier to do the bracelets. So now I'm going to take the other ends of the paracord and I basically take them uh, both through one of these buckles. Get the black through, get the green through, and basically we're just going to kind of loop this around to tie it around this buckle here. So I pull these. Sometimes it's easier just putting through the other end if that works. Uh, and then bringing this through like that so that we have a nice attached uh, end. I take the part that's glued there and I try to hide that a little bit underneath right like that. Then we're going to take this end and we're going to go through the other end over here. Now if you're going to do the compass on here, it's important at this step that uh, you put that compass in the middle right like this. So that compass will be in the middle of the bracelet. And then you need the green and black to be pretty much parallel all the way. And then I take these from the top and go down, making sure that the black is still on the right for me and the green is on the left. And I pull those straight like that. This is really important. This bracelet right here is going to be a really small bracelet. This tells uh, how many inches. Uh, I find for most kids, kind of the six and a half for small kids or seven range works good. Uh, it's good to, to make one ahead of time and have that and say this is a seven inch bracelet and have them try it on to see if they need to go bigger or smaller. So we're gonna lock that in. Uh, so now to start it, uh, I have to think of what color I want to be on the outside and which colors on the inside. I'm gonna do black on the outside. So I take black, I'm gonna hold it here, I'm gonna go underneath those and then I flip it up. Then I take the green and I'm going to basically go over these two strands here and through that loop. The first one's kind of, uh, difficult to get and then the pattern just continues. So uh, the two colors are nice. I'm gonna do black again. Black is gonna go underneath these two. I flip it on top of the green. Green is gonna go over everything and through that hole. And I just kinda keep thinking in my head, black goes under, I flip black up, green goes over. I take black, black goes under, I flip it over the green, Green goes over and through the hole. And that pattern just continues. Black goes under, black goes over, green goes over and through the hole. Black goes under, flip it over, green goes up and through the hole. Uh, if the green wanted to be on the outside, it would be the green that goes under and over. Black goes under, up, and through the hole. And you do this until you basically get to uh, either all the way across or until you get to about the center where that compass would be. And so if we look at there, I'll go a couple more. Black goes under, flip it over. Green goes over and through the hole. Black goes under, flip it over. Green over and through the hole. And it's just tying a bunch of knots, getting them nice and tight. Then you bring the compass down and the black is on this side. So I'm gonna run the black through 
that side of the compass to get it just to the other side. I'm going to take green through this side of the compass to get it through the other side. Straighten those out. And then I continue. Black is going to go under, flip it over, green goes over and through the hole. Black, and then get that tight. Black goes under, hold that over there. Green goes over and through the hole. Black goes under, green goes over, and you continue this until you get to the end. So now that we are at the end, uh, I basically try to get it as tight as I can to this final knot here. Probably go one more time here. You can always undo a knot if it doesn't work. A lot of time kids will get off on the color, they just untie it. When we get to this part right here, we're gonna end up cutting both of these and then burning them nice and close. All right, so then I take a pair of scissors, uh, I cut that end. Uh, I, I guess I usually take it out of the clip. Get that end cut, uh, put it over the candle, get that kind of hot a little bit. And then I like usually having a piece of cardboard by me uh, that then when that's warm, I'll go down and kind of rub it and kind of push it together so it melts kind of flat. That keeps it from unraveling, but where they can get it out later. I'll go to the other side, trim this one off here. Uh, you will have much better scissors than those. I burn that in, get it kind of nice and warm. You don't want to go too close, otherwise it'll start burning the other cord. And then when it's down there, kind of rub it on the cardboard, flatten it out a little bit, and then it'll be hot. Uh, but then that's basically how you make a survival bracelet uh, that will go together uh, really well on the wrist.